up what up it's garage gym homie and today we're reviewing the power tech workbench multi-press is it worth it before i get into this here please click the subscribe button i got content coming out every day for you now from health food reviews supplement reviews gizmos gadgets goodies all sorts of good finds for you fine folks out there so click subscribe and let's get into this. So this one has been heavily anticipated. Everybody asked me, well, not everybody, a few people have asked me to review this piece of equipment in here. I have to say, this is probably going to be the most popular piece of equipment that I have in my garage gym. Uh, aside maybe my, my cable machine and stuff, but I haven't reviewed that yet. I freaking love PowerTech. I got this piece from them. I got their, uh, right over here, this is the, uh, whatever you call it, the, uh, you know, for the lower back. And then I also got the, um, the bicep curl machine, which I've reviewed on the channel. Anyway, listen, let's quit freaking monkeying around and get down to business. Not freaking talking feelings here, we're talking facts. Okay, this costs 800 bucks. It was on back order. I ordered it. They told me it would take like three months. I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. I got it in about a month. It showed up at my house in two boxes. Even for a little Jewish boy, it was pretty freaking easy to assemble. Uh, me and my brother put this boy together in probably 40 minutes. I mean, it was. we only had to take it apart once because we screwed it up and then had to re-put it back together. But that's good for us because usually two to three times we have to do that. Uh, the directions were not freaking Chinese, they were English. Lo espanol habla habla inglés, you know? So we freaking, we, we got right down to business, put it together, and it was time to start pumping freaking iron. So I'm gonna tell you all about this boy right here, and I'm not even planning to edit out anything, because I wanna show you just how easy or difficult, depending how you look at it, what your perspective is, on dealing with this machine. See, everything's perspective, I'm trying to tell you. That's why, you know, I'm out here building garage gyms during COVID, and you're on the couch eating freaking Krispy Kremes, getting fat, worried about being obese and, you know, going in the freaking hospital because you gained too much dang weight. You know, I'm over here freaking pumping iron, getting freaking ripped, training like a freaking soldier. Everything's freaking perspective. All right, so. This boy goes up and down, back and forth, left and right. What do we got here? So first of all, bring it on over here, bring it on over here. Not too much. All right. So this can go down all the way flat. This can go as far down as that. And it can go as far up. Each increment, boom, boom, I'm going to show you each increment, boom, boom. So you can see, you can freaking hit everything. You don't hit, you can go straight up and down. I'm just showing you the increments here. All the way to, bada boom, upright. So you're winning with that right here. You're winning with that. Now furthermore, when it goes like this, and you go all the way down, this here, also adjusts. So you can put on a straight freaking decline, and you can also, well you can put on a bunch of angles here. Partially decline, straight decline, uh, whatever the heck you want. Uh, all right, so the other thing I'm gonna say here is, once it's like this, you can also put it straight up to support you. If you like it like that better, it kind of give you the support right here so you're not sliding off of it when you're, when you're hitting the freaking weights. I'm gonna show you how to do a few reps here. We're actually pumping today. So, let's get down to freaking business. I'll put it flat. Okay. Oh no, that's not flat. Still a little up, but I'll keep it like that. So anyway, then I bring it back here. You come on over here. Okay. So here we go. So this does two things right here. Bring it on in here. I want to show them. I want to show them. Quit freaking monkeying around. All right. This 
can adjust. You got two handles, boom. You can see they both go up at the same time, both of them. Or if you pull the pin, boom, one arm, one arm, they separate. So it gives them the freedom to do whatever the heck they want. Then, this here can adjust to every angle from all the way down here. I'll show you what I would do with that. Boom. So in that case, let's get some freaking iron out here. Let me get some iron here. Leave it right there. Boom. Okay. Get some plates to show you all. You're working out with the freaking champ today. No freaking funny business. We're not at freaking Planet Fitness. Straight up fitness talk with Garage Gym Homie. All right, so you throw some freaking iron on that boy. This thing comes with Olympic plate size. So you don't have to order any adapters. They didn't do us dirty like the body solid did. So let's start with back. Boom. Get this here. Oh wait, this is on two arms. Pull the pin. Look at this, so you got your rows. Supports you nicely. Squeeze. 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 This thing gets a real nice squeeze in here. Just like some dumbbells. So I'm trying to show you how to lift weights properly. See, everything you do should be slow and freaking controlled. Now you pull up, it's all in the squeeze. The difference between a world champ bodybuilder and someone who looks freaking lame is about that much squeeze. Someone could go like this, they're over here doing this. A champ knows. Get the squeeze, 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 squeeze. It's all in the breath. See, I'm not dropping it, lifting it, dropping that weight slowly. So you're missing half the rep if you're, if you're not hitting the negative. This is the negative right here as I pull it down slowly. Explosive movement on the positive. Slow on the negative. So you're doing the opposite. That's why you got no freaking definition. That's your freaking problem. All right, so you got that. So I'm not gonna edit this out. You're gonna see the whole freaking thing. So the problem is, let me give you an honest review so you can see the pros and cons of this boy. The pros are, this hits a freaking upper body workout. You get hit shoulders. You get hit upper chest incline. You get hit some decline. You get hit some flat chest. You can hit the back. You got a place for the attachments if you want to get the leg thing, the whole thing you can see on their website. I don't have any of it. That's the, up, the upside. Your governor, your freaking far left governor is not going to stop you from making gains if you have this. You get, gains will commence. Maximum gainage is going to still occur. The downside, okay, the downside is this isn't easy to freaking adjust unless you're really strong, way stronger than me, unless you take the weights off each freaking time. So I have to take, if I want to move from here to shoulders to show you the freaking shoulder press, which I'm going to do. I'm gonna give it all to you. I'm gonna give it to you straight. You're in for a treat tonight. You're pumping with Garage Gym Homie. Not everyone gets to pump iron with Garage Gym Homie. You've been chosen. So, here we go. So you gotta pull off the weight, then adjust it, then put the weight back on. So, I'm not gonna always make everything look easy. You can teach a man to, you can catch a man a fish and feed him for a day. Or you can teach a man, lead a man to water, no, teach a man to fish, feed him for a lifetime. Or you can lead a horse to water and teach him to fish. 
That's not the saying, is it? No, heck no, that wasn't the saying. I butchered that one. All right, so now, you see this, you got all these different slots here. You can go customizable for your arm length, whatever, garage gym only. I'm not that, I'm not that tall, man. I'm five, six and a half, and on Tinder, I'm five, seven. End of freaking story, you know? All right, so this, and then this goes up, back and forth. I didn't tell you about that, huh? Back and forth, look at that. So then you kind of got to memorize where each pin goes. That's the downfall. You got to memorize it. So this is going to go up one more. All right. So this is for the shoulders. Then you got to put the weight back on. So the thing's kind of a freaking process. But for me, you got to remember, it's not that big of a deal because I'm not hitting back and shoulders on the same day. So I don't really have a reason to be adjusting it from shoulders to back. For my brother, who's a personal trainer, and he might be working with a client, might be more, what's up, man? Might be more difficult for him. So check this out. I got the shoulder press going. Let's hit these shoulders. Oh yeah. Boom. So this is, so I got the pin in, so it's going at the same time. Slow and controlled. No jump. Everything you do should be a, a, a rhythm like that. Everything you do, see I've been schooled by the best. Everything you do should be a circular motion. Take the jump. Why do you like to jump? Take the jump out of it. You're, you're hurting your gains. Let me see here. Okay, so it's tight. Boom. See that? I'm growing right in front of you. See if you if you if you if you lighten up the weight a little bit, slow the reps down, do them properly. You're not gonna be able to throw around as much weight. It's gonna hurt your ego, but it's gonna increase your muscle. Okay, so now, now we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it all over. So that was the shoulder press. Now some people have claimed I haven't. I don't really do this. I did it with my old shoulder press. You can go this way too. Okay. Now I got, I'm gonna show you the chest. I'm gonna show you the tricep boy right here. Cause I got some, I got some freaking tricks up my sleeve for you folks. You find folks out there. So here, we'll see what, the, what this uh, semi-incline is about. Boom. Let's see, maybe, I, maybe I'm strong enough. Maybe I can lift this without taking the weight off. Nope, it's too dang heavy. This is the problem. You gotta take the weight off. The machine's really nice. The freaking, I mean, it's just nice. The whole thing is really nice, actually. And if you want to save space, you have a small footprint like I do, two car garage, you're gonna freaking be winning. You're gonna be winning. Cause you, you can't compact all this stuff. Power tech does it right. So here, let's see. Oops, it's a little low. So you kinda gotta do trial and error here. I don't remember every freaking. <laughs> All right, we're getting reckless here. Here we go. All right, almost freaking took me out. This, 
this freaking demo. Okay, so that's perfect. So that's perfect. Boom, just like I thought. Let me show you here. So, throw the weights back on. It's like a full workout. I get a full workout in, and I get to show you people my gym equipment. See, this is like, this thing was so, such a good buy. If you can put up with taking those weights on and off. So you got. So I go up, usually I don't go more than three plates on each side. Usually hit three plates on each side, which is, which is heavy. I mean, it gets heavy. And this is going to protect you. You can, it's like having a spotter. You could drop the weights if you hit, I wouldn't drop weights, but if you have to, it's going to, it's going to hold you. You know, if your freaking muscles can't keep up with your ego, the thing's gonna help you out. So here we go, we're hitting it, we're pumping, we're pumping. How's the family? Did you do your taxes yet? You know, we're talking, we're talking junk, you know. We're high stim Saturdaying it up, we're getting our reps in. Here we go, DMHA, DMAA, it's all hitting now. We're all coming together. I mean, we're not coming together. That sounds kind of gay, but no offense if you're gay. I mean, I'm just saying. So here, now the last thing. Last thing I'm going to show you here. You get the idea. I don't got to show you the flat and all that. We've, we've done a whole, whole ordeal here. This demo didn't exactly go as planned, but it's okay. So it comes with this bar right here. This is prime real estate right here. This is prime real estate. So you put this bad boy in. Boom, this thing pulls out, boom, clicks right in, you get right under that bad boy, oh, hold on, okay, and then you hit them triceps, close grip. Can also, if you had it up a little more, if I had this up a little more, I could just put it under like this and hit it like that. If, you know, you know what I'm saying. So this will get you really good pumps. I really like this. And then the other thing is, <laughs> the other thing is here, if you have this down, you can do, uh, you can do back rows with this. If you have this all the way down, I, I don't want to pull it off again, but if you do it down, boom, rows with this thing right here. End of freaking story. I mean, I could get up here and try it, but it's going to look silly. No more silly than I've looked on the rest of this video, but you get the idea. So listen, to sum it all up for you, we've done a, about half feelings, half facts here. I want to wrap it up with the facts. The thing is worth it. 800 bucks, takes money to get muscle. I probably would have paid 1200 bucks for this thing. If the website would have said 1200 bucks, I probably wouldn't have questioned it. It was 800 bucks, so I was like, oh dang, that's, that's nothing. Considering I got to get rid of my shoulder press. My, I had a whole machine just for a shoulder press in here. It's got the chest press, the back row, whole thing. It's got some attachments that I'm gonna look into, like the cape, like the chest flies that go with this. I mean, that's dope. It's got some adapt, the plates can fit on here if you want a storage for some plates. It's kind of lame since they're one inch plates and it comes with a two inch freaking thing. It doesn't make that much sense, but they give you some, some clips with it. The thing's kind of nice. It's a sturdy, this feels really good. The whole machine is solid. It doesn't slide around uh, and it's easy to build. So I recommend this to anybody. If you got a basement or whatever, this thing is perfect in there. Just, uh, hey, those are all the exercise I do with it. You could do some shoulder uh, whatever, like some, some shoulder pull, whatever the heck, but I don't really believe in those because they're kind of hard on the rotator cuff. 
I don't. I think there's way better exercises than doing those those kind of shoulder exercises. But I've seen them do it on another demo. So that's what I got for you, man. That's the power tech. If you like the review, subscribe to the channel. If you didn't freaking like the review, also subscribe to the channel. Garage Jim homie's always gonna give it to you straight. Together, let's get this dang muscle. God bless all of you. I'm out.